Ever since it arrived in the spotlight, 4K has been thought of as the final, unapproachable frontier to PC gaming, where only the rich elites could ever hope of getting a game to 60fps. But that isn't true. Sure, you won't be able to happily do 4K with anything less powerful than an RX 460, but whenever anybody thinks of 4K, they always think of maxing out games. So today I'm going to show you how well a mid-range card like the GTX 970 performs at custom settings on 4K in games both new and old. This is for people who don't have tons of money but still want a good 4K experience. Woof. A good tip for people wanting to play games in 4K with higher settings is to turn off anti-aliasing, as its difference in high resolutions is negligible, as now you are already rendering more pixels. First of all comes Shadow of Mordor. This game isn't very demanding at 1080p, however at 4K max settings it can bring even the most powerful PCs to their knees. Playing at a mixture of high and medium settings however, I was very surprised with the frame rate which usually hovered at the 52 FPS mark, with minimal dipping unless using the elf shot ability, where the frame rate would drop to about 45. In Nornan, however, the frame rate dipped substantially more due to the larger amounts of foliage in the area, but that can be balanced by turning down some of the settings in game. Slashing orcs has never looked so good. Next comes Bioshock Infinite, which Although being nearly 4 years old now, is a pretty intensive game, even at 1080p. However, I was not disappointed with the frame rate for this game either. With a mixture of high and ultra settings, and anti-aliasing turned off, the game hovered usually around 65 to 70 FPS, dipping down to the mid 40s in more intensive sections of the game. If you were to turn down the settings to medium however, then you could expect to get a constant 60 FPS throughout the game, which for a 970 is a very good achievement. Third up is Alien Isolation. I rarely see this game being tested out graphics wise, but really its visuals aren't too bad. At high settings on 4K the game achieved over 60fps all of the time, never dipping below 60fps, and the visuals were increased dramatically. I could also feel a definite increase in the ambience of the game. Running away from a 4K alien? Now that is something you need to experience. Lastly is the oldest game on this list, which is Dishonored. This game was released nearly 5 years ago. Due to that, unsurprisingly, at maximum settings, with even anti-aliasing turned up to ultra, this game never dipped below 60fps, or even 100fps for that matter. The frame rate was so high in some areas that theoretically, if you turned down a few settings, you could easily attain 144fps, which as Linus pointed out at CES 2017. There is a new monitor coming out that can handle 4K at 144Hz. These results were very impressive. I mean, a GDX 970 playing 4K at 144Hz? That's insane. Only a few years ago, back during the Nvidia 700 series days, you could expect to pay well over $500 for an entry level 4K gaming card. And yet nowadays the 970 can be bought for as low as $300, or even lower if you're willing to go the second hand route. I myself got my 970 for $100, although that was a pretty rare deal. And something I realised a few days ago was that you didn't have to max out games at 4K. If you could play the newest titles at medium settings 4K, then you already had a good experience. When you think about it, 4K is no longer that hard to drive. Sure, your card would have to render more pixels, but if you turned off anti-aliasing and turned down some settings, then most graphics cards, within reason, should be able to play it in 60fps. You could even go as low as a GDX 950 and still get a good experience out of 4K. I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and that it has helped some of you to realise that 4K gaming is now for the masses. Personally, I would much rather do 1080p at 144Hz, but to admit, once you play in 4K, it is hard to go back. Have a good day, everyone. Bundy. Bundy. Bundy boy. Oh, Bundy. <laughs> He's just been sitting here the entire time.
watching me play 4K games. What do you have to say about 4K, Bundy? Do you enjoy 4K? Do you enjoy 4K? He's a member of the PC Master Race. 